I found this on the ground. Help me. I've heard that there are moose in Alaska. Do you think that's true? I think so. Some people say that they're more dangerous than bears, especially when they're with their young. It really looks like it's made of asphalt. A moose's withers are more or less this high, so it'd be like getting run over by a pickup truck. Guys, we're ready for a new adventure. There it is, right there. When it does that, I really feel at one with myself. We're going to the port because the largest flatfish in the world live in these waters. Halibut. These fish can weigh up to 650 pounds. We've made arrangements with a captain who's from the area because we want to see them. We're here. We are big fish. We can't not see the big fish of flatfish. So we'll set out. We don't aspire to catch this monster, but we will set out to go fishing. It's basically deep sea fishing. We need to catch one of them because, well, we'd like to make its acquaintance. And then maybe we could plan a big fish halibut expedition sometime in the future. Let's just say that we're scouting. <laughs> Scott, why you have a, a gun in your uh, in your boat? Oh, the gun is for uh, when you have a very large fish, maybe yeah. 100, 200 pounds. They're too powerful to just bring in the boat. They chase everybody and break uh -huh. things. So we use the gun to shoot them when they're in the water, yeah. and that calms them down. And uh, of course, then you can bring them aboard with everything okay. is safe and. So, basically, since you can't practice catch and release with halibut, if you catch one that's too big, because they can be as big as 450 to 650 pounds, you have to shoot it. You shoot it and then you can haul it up easily, because bringing something that big on board while it's alive could put everyone's safety at risk. So, you shoot it and then haul it on board with ease, then, obviously, there's no throwing it back. Lunch is on you. The first one to catch a fish has to pay for lunch. Tough luck. So there's no catching and releasing halibut. <laughs> Strange, huh? No eyes on here's this side. Yep. <laughs> He's pulled a lot of line. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Pump it, come on, hard, hard. Tire it out, tire it out.
Our halibut fishing trip is over. We met our goal, which was to see it. It's an interesting fish. The fishing itself isn't exactly dynamic, but the sheer size of the fish does make it exciting. We caught a 45-pound halibut that was so big it looked like a king-size bedsheet. But we digress. Let's not get distracted from our goal, which is to catch a steelhead that's at least a metre long. Our quest continues. This time our quest for big fish has compelled us to navigate downstream from the Nine Mile Bridge all the way to the mouth of the Sitok River. We'll do it in this boat, but the descent won't be short by any stretch of the imagination. We expect it to take about 11 hours. That's more or less the average time it takes to descend the city. Given what the weather's like, it might be a good idea to bring an underwater camera, since there's water above and water below. We've been rowing for five hours, in the rain. It hasn't let up for a split second. It's as cold as hell. We keep getting grounded. We can't seem to light this fire. I can't feel my hands. We're really having a hard time. It's 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside.